Okay, so I skipped the first slide, that's fine. Um, so basically on here, you can see me with my tall husband, Tim, otherwise known as Tiny. Um, the children and I and Tim were on a cruise last summer, which was an interesting one when we had COVID, but it was a beautiful ship um, for what we saw of it. <laughs> there you've got Luther, who thankfully is asleep on our bed at the minute, so hopefully he'll stay that way. Um, and yeah, if you ever go on the MSC Virtuoso, look at those stairs that I was walking up there. One and a half million pounds worth. Quite incredible. So let's see if I can click on. Yes, who am I? So I was in marketing in my 20s, having done a language degree. I taught languages from 30 to early 50s when we came into travel. I met Tim late. So our children are... Coming up for 18 and 16 now. Um, we've got A-levels and GCSEs coming up as well. So interesting time of life. And our dog, Luther, is a Romanian rescue who we got at the end of lockdown. I'd never actually wanted a dog and suddenly we had one, but I love him really. <laughs> and we used to buy our holidays through another couple who were with Not Just Travel. And it was just a chance remark saying, oh, I wouldn't mind doing what you're doing that led us to signing up and training early January 2020, so just over three years ago. So ha, um, how we work is we try and have a chat face-to-face -face, on Zoom or by phone. We think it's vitally important because we, we uh, it's our chance to ask the right questions and try and have a better chance of finding a client's dream holiday. It also saves a lot of time of trying to set send people things that are totally totally in the wrong budget bracket that sort of thing or you know you can misjudge the style of hotel or style of cruise ship all sorts if you don't ask the right questions um we try and avoid becoming a free search tool for people i've sometimes had people messaging me on messenger going oh how much for this or how much for that um if if they won't give us a number and they probably don't appreciate the personal nature of our service and they probably simply want the cheapest option going, which in, in some cases may not be the best fit. And we don't even try to match dodgy supplies like on the beach or love holidays because they're not in ABTA and they don't offer the protection of package travel regulations that we do. I'm not saying that I don't help people with price matching with things like Jet 2 and we look, everyone likes a bargain, but you know, some people just I think they think they're back in the 2018 and they want a holiday for 200 pounds or something. It's not happening these days, I'm afraid. Um, I do think as well, if a supplier is significant, like anything in life, if something's significantly cheaper, you tend to get what you pay for. And we are very proud of our franchise, not just ours, but the whole group um, with our five out of five on Trustpilot. Um, we do avoid flight only inquiries just so that you know not to listen out for these please as we pride ourselves on offering holiday packages that are fully protected and we get better air fares within a package because we've got the whole the um, accommodation too so we can access hundreds of suppliers and there are lots out there that are trade only um and because our franchise is linked to hayes which is the biggest travel agency in the uk it has clout and we do get great prices um, and we we do have a new app coming and I wanted to launch it in this meeting, but it's we've not had our training yet. So watch this space and not just travel deals app, which should be good and should be good for you guys to pass along if you would when the time comes. So um, the BDMs, business development managers, we've actually got to know our key trade partners well now over the past three years from trade events that we've attended and hosted. Um, and it can help in times of problems. It, can really help if you've actually got somebody's card and you know how to get hold of them out of hours as well as having the official out of hours channels that they have um we made bookings of a greater value last month than we did in the whole of 2020 <laughs> that just shows how amazing it was that we kept going but we did and we love it so it was our best month today and february is going great too so that's lovely um one thing to highlight, we don't keep shop hours. So if you know of someone and they you meet them down the pub and they're saying, oh, I'm thinking of booking tonight, don't mind taking a call late in the evening, weekends, whenever, because we're often still working um, and we 
just like to work around people. It gives us flexibility as well. We're building in the gym and so on now and uh, trying to trying to find a work life balance, but working when it work, works well for others as well as for us. Um, and one of the things that we do do is if when we take the booking, it's us that ends up on hold with suppliers rather than the client because you know they maybe want to change things and that's I guess times like that when we come in handy um we do feel that we recommend destinations based on climate knowledge um we help clients avoid hurricanes in the Caribbean or monsoons in the far east the number of people that we meet at wedding fairs that say I want to go and get married in June and I want to go to the Maldives and I go no you don't you really don't it's not the best time <laughs> and and we're good at tailoring destination expectations to budgets and not everyone can really afford Bora Bora Hawaii or the Maldives and there are times of year when they definitely should be avoided so what else can I say you can pay by direct debit um, interest free and the last payment is six weeks before travel so that way you get another pay packet to pay, save up your spending money and um, we've got really good travel insurance we can arrange all sorts of extras, airport lounge passes. If it's a big booking, we often throw those in anyway. Fast track passes are popular. Avoid those queues at the airport. Airport hotels and parking, we, we have price parity on those. Attraction passes. So if you go to somewhere like New York, Reykjavik and so on, we, there's a load of things that it's better to pre-book. And we even have a honeymoon gift list where people, if they've been together a while, can use it like a savings pot people can contribute towards the honeymoon even if they don't actually know where they want to go sometimes they use it and then see what they can afford when the weddings pass um, and I will apologize I forgot to set the, my timer so you'll have to somebody will have to give me a nudge sorry and um, we do when people are away if it's a birthday or an anniversary etc we always try to arrange a special touch and um, by contacting the, the hotel just a few days before. Um, even cruise lines, I did it for a friend when they, when they went on a cruise, I got in touch with the BDM and uh, they had a huge chocolate cake and music when the, when it was the birthday, which was lovely. Um, and we can book really last minute if needed. I booked somebody one Sunday night and they flew the next day with their four children. I was amazed we managed to find something for them. Um, we are quite established now with a core of good, loyal customers who book again and again. So um, like um, Ian, who's Jono's friend, and we also, they recommend us liberally too. So thankfully our good customer service, as well as finding the right product and price is helping us grow organically. Um, and obviously networking is a big extension of that, isn't it? Um, so, and I'd say a large part of the growth comes from an increase in long haul bookings, um, and including multi-center ones, but also cruise is really, really helping our business. Um, it can be maritime, it can be river, it might be fly cruise, but a big growing sector is flying from, uh, going sailing straight out of the UK, not having to faff around at the airport. Um, and it's popular in all seasons and cruise clients are very, very loyal. And this is a great opportunity for us. So please listen extra hard for anyone who mentions cruising. So recent stories, um, last weekend at a wedding fair, I met a couple, couldn't believe they want to get married abroad this summer, but they'd done nothing about it. And the lady- oh, left, Alison. One minute. One minute. Okay. Yeah, the lady literally, I said, you need to sit on him until he gives you a slot where we can talk. So she did. And we're now, we're looking at uh, Cyprus for the wedding and a honeymoon in the Maldives or Mauritius. Um, I'm helping a lady who's not had a holiday for 12 years. We were looking at cruises, but they wouldn't quite fit in with the big commitments that she got work-wise. So we're looking at a lady's touring holiday in Italy. So it's, um, it's interesting just trying to find the right thing. We're trying to encourage ski trips to the right areas where there'll definitely be snow, so higher destinations. Um, I'll just move that on. I don't need to tell you all these stories. So, you know, to listen out, please, for short breaks, abroad especially, but we can do UK things too. Lapland, Christmas markets and Northern Lights. Um, your regular family holidays, golf breaks and cruises. Oops. 
honeymoons, long haul holidays, cruises, safaris. We've done a few of those recently. They're amazing. Skiing, especially a ski club would be just the icing on the cake. Island hopping, whichever part of the world, all sorts of tours. And the dream thing would be a wedding abroad. I'm looking at a mini one at the minute. Somebody with a proper big bucket list trip, retirement blowout type thing. Somebody, they do exist, back-to-back -back cruiser. Um, a group booking would be amazing. And maybe someone who wants to do a lot of Formula One around the world. If you know of anyone who wants a side income, um, as well as UW, we could have people as partnering travel where they earn part of the commission. We share part of the commission if people that they bring to us book. So really um, top quality, long duration or a large number of passengers. But we're quite happy to start with a simple booking and who knows where they lead. So please just listen out for people who are keen to book and value customer service, good personal service. Thank you. And that's us.